and Splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. After nine long months in space, NASA astronauts Sunita Sunny Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore have finally touched down on Earth, bringing an unexpected chapter aboard the International Space Station to a close. Their return wasn't just another routine landing. It was a high-stakes mission filled with delays, malfunctions and a dramatic rescue operation led by SpaceX. So what exactly went wrong? And how did Williams and Wilmore finally make it back? Let's dive in. It all started on 5th of June 2024 when Williams and Wilmore blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Their mission? A critical test flight meant to last just 8 days. But then, things started to go very wrong. First, five of Starliner's thrusters failed just as the spacecraft approached the ISS, making it dangerously unstable. Then, helium leaks in the propulsion system raised serious concerns about its ability to return safely. For months, NASA and Boeing engineers scrambled to fix the problem remotely. But by August 2024, they had to make the tough call. Starliner was simply too risky to bring the astronauts back. The solution? A rescue mission led by SpaceX. With the astronauts stranded, politics entered the picture. US President Donald Trump repeatedly criticized the delay and called on Elon Musk's SpaceX to step in. Biden left them up. He abandoned them. You know, we could have done this sooner. In response, NASA fast-tracked a backup plan. Originally set for late March, SpaceX's Crew-10 mission was brought forward to 12th of March 2025 using the Dragon capsule Endurance. But just 45 minutes before launch, another setback. A hydraulic issue forced a last-minute delay. Two days later, on 14th of March, Crew-10 finally lifted off, reaching the ISS on 16th of March. The mission? deliver four new astronauts and prepare for Williams and Wilmore's long-awaited return. After a brief handover, Williams and Wilmore, along with their Crew-9 colleagues, boarded the SpaceX Crew Dragon Freedom capsule on 18th of March, ready to leave the ISS behind after 288 days in space. 17 hours later, they entered Earth's atmosphere, traveling at over 27,000 km per hour before parachuting to a smooth splashdown off the coast of Florida. Finally, after nearly a year in microgravity, Williams and Wilmore were back, ready to reunite with family, breathe fresh air and feel the pull of Earth's gravity once again. Right now, they are undergoing medical evaluations before heading to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. After months in zero gravity, adjusting back to life on Earth won't be easy. But one thing's for sure, this mission will go down in history not just as a test flight, but as a story of resilience, problem solving and one of the most unexpected space rescues ever pulled off. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share it with your friends and subscribe to Business Standard for more incredible space stories. Thanks for watching.